Uh, YAG laser capsulotomy is an extremely common procedure done after cataract surgery. About one in uh, 15 to one in 20 patients, uh, even after a, a successful cataract surgery can develop a me membrane behind the lens that has been put in their eye. YAG laser uses um, a very uh, focused and gentle laser to make an opening in that membrane. This allows uh, the patient to see uh, much more clearly after the laser as there is no obstruction uh, of light or a scattering of light going through a membrane. <clears throat> uh, YAG laser procedure is done as an outpatient procedure. Once the patient has been seen in the clinic and we have discussed the pros and cons and um, the patient is, uh, would like to go ahead, we arrange an appointment for the patient to come to outpatients. They sit on a machine which is very similar to the one which they would have, you, have been exposed to when they were doing, they underwent the clinical examination. The patient comes in, the pressure of the eye is checked, the vision is checked, and we put some drops uh, in the eye to allow uh, the uh, pupil to open up and the pressure to be controlled. Then the patient sits on the machine um, with their, on the chin rest. We make the patient comfortable and ensure that their eye is numb so that they do not feel any pain. Uh, uh, we put a, the surgeon puts a small lens, contact lens on the eye to allow the laser to be focused at the correct point and also uh, so that the patient doesn't need to worry about blinking uh, because the contact lens keeps their lids open as well. Uh, it, it takes about a few minutes and we make some uh, laser uh, focused, uh, focused laser shots on the membrane, which makes an opening uh, in the membrane. This allows the light to go through. We ensure that the laser opening is good size so that uh, we reduce the chance of require, patient re uh, requiring for the laser treatment. It is a very, it's a common procedure, but it's a very sophisticated procedure. So it's to be done very carefully by an experienced surgeon. Uh, physically, the obstruction is removed immediately. So the light is, can go and focus nicely soon after the laser surgery. However, when the patient is sitting on the microscope, uh, there is a uh, patient is uh, in front of the microscope. They are dazzled a little bit by the light. So it might take an hour or two for them to experience uh, the improvement of vision. Usually by next day, they can see a massive difference uh, if everything has gone well. Uh, YAG laser capsulotomy is an extremely common procedure uh, and uh, we can e easily call it minimally invasive because no active surgery with tissue cutting is involved. However, all procedures carry a small risk. Um, the risk-benefit ratio is discussed with the patient to see if it is suitable for them. Uh, occasionally, the pressure of the eye can go up after laser, and there could be a bit of inflammation after the laser. Uh, we try to prevent the uh, complications by taking uh, precautions in all cases, and we instill some drops uh, before and after the laser to make sure the pressure is not going up. We check the patient, uh, patient's pressure about an hour after the surgery. In case the pressure is going up, we treat it accordingly. And in most cases, it comes down soon. We always give a patient some drops to try and minimize the risk of inflammation after the laser. Uh, and in most cases, uh, there is no need for further treatment after the course of medication is um, is completed. We always see the patient after the laser so that we can ensure that uh, in a, in a very uncommon scenario where there is uh, any significant issue, then we can treat it uh, as and when. There is also a, a whole list of things which can happen with a YAG laser procedure, uh, in, uh, albeit very uncommonly. Therefore, we would provide, if a patient comes to us uh, just to discuss the laser, we'll provide them a detailed patient information leaflet, which will um, give them the whole list of complications. And this each can be discussed uh, before the laser treatment so that the patient is aware of the small risk of uh, complications, including small risk of reduction of vision. Uh, the patient can do uh, almost everything straight after the procedure. They, they can, after the laser, they can go for a 
a little drink or snack and they can come after an hour for pressure check. Uh, from next day, in most cases, if everything goes well, they're able to even drive and do their all their routine activities. We usually recommend not to drive on the day of the laser. So if somebody can drop you and pick you up, that will be helpful because we do dilate the pupil in most cases. So your vision will be a bit blurred uh, for a bit until your pupil, uh, pupil comes back to normal size.